What should we do now? You know what? Of course, we've got this thing with those wrestling girls coming up here in just a moment. But before we do that, let's address the moose in the room. Yo. <laughs> oh. Let's address the moose in the room. Oh. Frenemies, I, I'm pretty sure that if you follow oh. us and you keep up with us and what's going on on the Twitter timeline at the enemies POD, like I said, you're more going to follow us. If you keep up with what's going on uh, there on that side of things, understand that there is a moose in the room. Yeah, bum ass yeah, moose in the it. room, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it, man. Bum Fuck ass, this nigga, nigga moose, nigga. Fuck moose. Oh, whoa, whoa, Fuck whoa, whoa, moose. Whoa, whoa. Everything moose stands for. Hey. Fuck this. Fuck Johnny. This nigga look like moose. Hey, this nigga look like all the fucking. He look like all the Ninja Turtles. He look. He literally looks like this mic right here. This new mic that I just got right here. I got to see that shit right here. Right. Yeah. This mm, right here. Dog. This is Moose's head. My dog. He's like, like a body human All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Let's set the stage before we start insulting people, okay? Let's at least set right, the right, stage right. and let the frenemies like, know why like we like might me. feel this way. Like, why do we feel this way? I don't know. There has to be a reason why. All right, cool. So check this out, right? Just a couple of days ago, there was a tweet that was sent out from uh, our account by this young gentleman right over here to my left. My right, I don't know. That's my left, right? This is my left shoulder on the, on the screen. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, so <clears throat> here's the tweet. I'll read it as follows. Kofi Kingston versus Bobby Lashley will be the fourth time the two black people will face each other one-on-one -on -one for a world title in wrestling history. And the first time ever that two black men will face each other for the WWE title. This is amazing. This is history. Now, <clears throat> tweet went crazy right as, as as we typically do you know from time to time look check this out this is like a this is like a every 48 hour thing you know there's something that's that's yeah, catching me and, and, and you know the we people seem to be hitters. fucking with it so <clears throat> this we do all right as, as as this as this tweet was picking up steam uh, we had a, a young gentleman by the name of Kenny King who uh, stepped into the conversation and said, hey, y'all forgot one. By the way, uh, myself and uh, Jay Lethal, we had a motherfucking banger. Uh, go ahead and uh, throw that in on the list while you niggas is uh, talking about black history, black excellence, oh. and shit like that. Oh, we said, oh, okay, you know what? You right, my G. You know you what, right. Kenneth? You're right, Kenneth. That, that was that that was that was a that was a, that was a, that was a little bit of an uh, uh of an oversight, but thank yeah. you for checking niggas and you know what I'm saying and, and letting us know. Let's make that correction. Let's add that to the list. More history, more black excellence, more beautiful shit, more bangers, more Big dope. Fans. You feel me? Yeah, exactly. Um, now somebody else entered the conversation and said, "Hey, y'all forgot about this one match that happened." Just after Rich Swan and Chris Bay, it was Rich Swan and Moose. Yo, and we said, hey, shout out you to, know what? I put I got I got his name. Shout out to um at next two. Mm -hmm. No, sat next two. Yeah, big action, right? But it was like, yeah, you forgot yeah. about this one. And we said, you know what? You're right. You are absolutely right. It's been a lot going on this year, last year, you know what I mean? The fact that these two matches happened, they did happen a little bit close to each other, so I don't know if there was like a, a thing where one didn't quite get as much fanfare, or maybe motherfuckers... I know why just, I didn't get much slip. fanfare, but you know. We maybe slip. niggas we don't slip. like moose. Maybe, 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 like moose. maybe that's the case, but this is where moose comes into play because literally maybe an hour and a half, two hours after all of that shit was said and done and motherfuckers was back to championing, championing the post and championing uh, black excellence and around this motherfucker, this nigga moose pops in and says, did you Here do your research? Moose. Y'all, before you made this terrible take, terrible take, as he sends over an Android quality, uh, uh, you feel me, iPhone 3GS 
uh, you feel me, uh, yeah, Nokia, yeah, yeah. No, gotta, Starter gotta Brick. We gotta do all that. You feel me? I'm just saying the the <laughs> quality like, of this photo was big trash. Fuck, the fact that he came shit, in, found this shit on a razor. <laughs> the fact that he came in an hour or so after we had already corrected the oversight, yeah. corrected the mistake, feeling like this was saying? a terrible take. Feeling seven like in the take. This happened. Seven in this the is morning. What you're doing. This is this is what you're doing at seven in the morning. I think it was seven in the morning on my end. It might have been ten o'clock on you. Yeah, it was like ten o'clock. It was like ten o'clock on the East Coast. But, might have been about know. ten. Might have been about ten. Mm-hmm. Too early. Me to ain't even out yet like that. You know what I'm saying? It's still birds chirping and shit. You wanted to park yourself in our mentions, Mister Moose, sir. We don't appreciate. And the it. fucked up part is like. Like you said, that shit had already been corrected for like an hour. And the space leading up to them was like, yo, it was it was cool. Shout out to um Tiger Driver. They were like, yo, <laughs> yo, forgot. They're like, yo, what about Monty Brown versus Ron Killings? We threw that. That one was thrown in there. Like there, and it ended up being like 10 matches or something like that. Uh I, where hey, you know what? And I don't even mean to cut you off. Check this out. I don't I, I'm not the biggest wrestling historian, right? So like I I, I let y'all cook when y'all when y'all get in that bag because I don't be remembering like matches from years past and how sequences and all that shit came out. But exactly. were all of these matches, to, were all of these, all, all of these, all of y'all that came in chiming in with extra matches and shit, were all of these matches main events, or were they just on the card? Because we talking about main events. We talking about main events. We talking about marquee matches. If this shit was like the third match on the card and it was for like the kind of sort of, you feel me, world title of a company that was a little bit cool. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? But keep whatever. It. I just want to keep this I, w- I want to go back to this. I want to go back keep to this, this and bring this. I want to bring this back on the screen for Mr. Moose here. This tweet has been deleted. Oh, when I yeah, saw look that, at the, look at the it. sheer, the sheer joy oh, that came this across my been face, deleted. like, bro. Oh, if That's you were gonna, if you were gonna do that what, shit, if what you happened? Come out, what happened, Moose? If you wouldn't come out, to, if you would come out sideways, like, let that shit stand, because I had, I've given this man flowers before. Yeah, radio silence. Nothing. Radio said. silence. But the second I leave you, but the second I leave your name out of some shit, now now you know who now you know who I am. Like I guarantee I guarantee fucking teeth. I could I bet anything on this fucking planet. Had this been Dave Meltzer or some other uh wrestling podcaster or YouTuber that wasn't black, he wouldn't have fixed his mouth to say shit. Okay? He wouldn't have said a damn thing because he knows the he knows that uh the backlash on that shit wouldn't have been good for him. But you feel like you can come over and say that shit to us. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, you did this shit to black wrestling buddy. too. Mm-hmm. You got mad because they put you in the 40s yeah. on the BRP 50, but you didn't fix your mouth to say anything when PWI Pro Wrestling Illustrated put you at number 148. Out of 500 people, you didn't fix your mouth to say shit. You didn't tell them, take me off your list. You didn't say none of that. Because guess what? Who was rocking with you when you came into Ring of Honor and you were with Prince Nana, when you were with Stokely, and you were with Beta Scott, and they had you in that weird-ass triangle storyline about who was going to manage you? We were rocking with you. <laughs> who was who was rocking with you when you were cutting promos and they were booing the uh, shit out of you talking about you couldn't talk? We were. I remember caping for this nigga in the early days of wrestling Twitter back in 2015, 16. Like, bro, literally telling niggas like, yo, let this man cook. Like, he could be the next big guy. People were cooking you. When you went to Impact. my nigga started wearing and robes in your... and tassels. And all that exactly. <laughs> when you went to Impact and started a rivalry yeah, with Cody r- Rose, rubber bands and niggas was cooking you. Shit, nigga, like, who do you think you are, nigga? And Cody yeah, you Rhodes to get cooking you with his own list, talking about that you have a list. He got cooked. Who was coming to you? Who was coming to your aid? Us. But you know what? Some, but you know what, Moose? I'm glad enough. I'm glad that you took enough time 
you could pull your nose out of Tessa Blanche's asshole for two seconds to see this tweet. But she must have given you fucking pink eye that you didn't see the shit on the time on the um on the fucking thread that we corrected that shit. Gave you your motherfucking flowers, but it still wasn't good enough. You know, I noticed that none of your colleagues or anybody that was uh, like tagged in this post or anybody that happened to like this post, you know what I mean, that was mentioned in this post. Nobody came to your aid. Nobody said, hey, you forgot about Moose. I get a fuck about no Mises. And he was almost, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> yo, yo. Bam. And shout out. And shout out to uh, shout out to Black Wrestling and Math and all them for being like, "Yo, don't let that shit get you down." Like, you know, giving encouraging words and shit like that. Yeah, big action, man. You feel me? Because Doug, it, it could have been something else, but luckily and thankfully, he went ahead and deleted this tweet. I would personally like an apology, but I mean, I'm we not never going to that. expect one. <laughs> I'm not going to expect one, but I just want to put it out there in the universe that I would personally like an apology. And I say that on behalf of my two brothers here. You know what I mean? Nah, bro, because, like, because, like, bro, you want to do that shit. (laughs) That nigga nigga was waiting to do that. (laughs) (laughs) Like, bro. You're welcome. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Wrap it it up. You want to do that shit. You want to do that shit. You want to step on the neck of black creators and shit like that. But the whole time, like, where the future this Yo, podcast Moose, is fuck you. Guess Nigga, what? Everything when that you, you stand for, you everything that you exactly. love. Exactly. You a bum. You always will be a bum. And you stop being a bum with your bum ass. Nigga, nobody's going to fuck with you, Moose, because you don't fuck with us. Because at the end of the day, all you're going to have is us. And then when we not exactly. there, then who's going to put the title on you, nigga? Nobody, nigga. Nobody believes in you, Moose. And I don't believe in you, nigga. You sat there and let niggas name you Moose and said, all right. Nigga, <laughs> Wrap it up for us, bro. Let's, let's, let's move on. How dare this nigga? <laughs> like, bro, Black Wrestling Podcast, if you if you haven't noticed over the last couple of years, that shit has taken over. Next time you want to do an interview with somebody, guess what? It might be a Black Wrestling Podcast, and you over here muddy in the waters for your fucking self. Making yourself look bad because I already saw people on the timeline talking about like, yo, I had I interviewed this man a couple years ago. Guess what? I'm not a fan anymore. Damn. Like, bruh, you literally shooting yourself in the foot because you want to be because you want to be uh you want to be one of them. But guess <laughs> what? Them. They don't want guess what? They don't want you over there. Yeah, my nigga. Next racial draft. Nah, nigga, you moose, nigga. Prospect. Don't forget that. Yeah, man. Well, that was super yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah Trey, you can 